Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about spiritual cleansing and purification of the home. In this video today I'm going to explain to you what negative energy is and why you want to remove it. I'm going to list some of the ways in which you can spiritually cleanse and purify and I'm also going to show you some methods of spiritually cleansing and purification. Quick disclaimer, please be careful when using smoke, salt or essential oils around anybody, around people, young children or animals because it may be harmful for them and potentially kill them. So please do your research before you use any of these items. So what is energy? Well energy as we know comes in many different forms. There's energy in light, there's energy in electricity, there's energy in a thunderstorm, there's energy in rain, there's energy in the earth, there's energy in the air, there's energy in, from humans, there's energy in animals, there's energy in plants, flowers, there's energy everywhere. Everything has energy. Everything. Negative energy is the opposite. Positive energy, obviously. But it's not neutral, it's negative. Energy has potential to create more of itself. So, for example, if a room has a lot of clutter, a lot of dirt, and it's just not very nice to be in, it could make anybody who goes into that room feel a level of discomfort. So, already their discomfort has come from this negative energy that's in the room and then this person feeling discomfort may be affected for some time after that. So this is why we need to cleanse and purify a space of negative energy. Cleansing is the physical cleaning, it's removing the dirt and debris, it's decluttering, it's tidying up uh, and then you're cleansing with products that are nature friendly, nothing that's harmful to the environment because we definitely want to be ethical. And then the purification is when you're removing the negative energy, it's on an energy level. Um, and this is where intention comes in, uh, the use of magical tools or items such as this one, um, and also working with natural plants or herbs or essential oils to aid in the process. Which methods of cleansing and purification are there? So, like I say, cleansing is the act of physically removing dirt, debris and clutter. So, in a purification sense, there are different methods in which you can do this. So there's the obvious, which many people know about, the smudging, which is where you burn some herbs, it's a bundle of herbs and you burn them, and you waft it around the house and all the negative energy goes with the smoke out of the window so you need to open the windows as well. It's a really good idea if you're going to burn herbs to try and stick with herbs that are local or something that you've grown yourself. You can work with the elements. You can open all the windows and intentionally work with the spirit of air to come through the house and remove all the negative energy through air. You could use sound, so wind chimes. You could go around your house to all the corners, all the nooks and crannies with some wind chimes. Allow that sound to remove any negative energy. You could also use crystals, placing crystals in certain areas of the home and meditating on that. You can use salt to cleanse and purify by sprinkling it around the home. You can make sprays with essential oils and spray it around the home and allow the essential oils to remove the negative energy. The other thing that you can do is use tools such as this one. You can waft any negative energy out so you're basically sweeping the air and you waft it out of the window and you want to go to all the corners right down low through the middle and out and that is how you purify with a broom you could use lights to purify space as well so you could take a white candle 
and light it with the intention of purification. If you use candles, do not leave them to burn unattended, please, thank you. Himalayan salt lamps are very good for keeping a spiritually clean environment. They're very good. They're just as good as using salt. Um, but like I say, be careful if you have animals because you don't want a dog to lick your lamp because it will be bad for them. You could, if you wanted, instead of using a broom, you can use feathers. Feathers are really good for cleansing and purification. Feathers are just incredible. And I also associate feathers with the element of air. So you're working with the element of air and the feather and wafting it out of the house, the negative energy. So what happens once you've cleansed your space, you've purified it, it's feeling really, really clean on an energy level, what do you do then? Once you've cleansed it, once you've purified it, it's a very good idea to then put up protections. So I did a video recently on spiritual protection where I describe how to protect your space, so please do check that one out. Now I'm going to show you three methods of cleansing and purification of the home. The first one I'm going to start with is a nature-friendly cleaning spray, so of course it's ethical. For this you'll need essential oils, you'll need white vinegar, water, some clear plastic bottles and some environmentally friendly washing up liquid. So I'm going to start by putting in 100ml of white vinegar into each of the bottles. I'm doing two at this stage because I was making one for my boyfriend but it's a very good idea to make one for downstairs and one for upstairs. I'm then going to add a dash of environmentally friendly or plant based washing up liquid, add the essential oils and then I'm going to add the water and it's optional if you want to add any dried herbs or flowers at this point. Put the lids on, shake them up and there you have your very own nature friendly and ethical cleaning spray. The herbs and essential oils that I use for this cleaning spray are ones that are very good for purification and then I go around the home with the intention of removing all negative energy. Now I'm going to show you sound purification using a shamanic drum. So now I want to show you the method of shamanic drumming to remove negative energy. So first I would like to say that you obviously need your intention, so you need to intentionally go around your whole house, so room by room, with your drum and the beater, and visualise negative energy being forced out. Imagine sound waves coming out of the drum and it's forcing the negative energy out. It's even getting to all the corners where there might be some stagnant energy. You're going to use rhythms that feel right for you. So I'm going to show you what I would do. Feel free to experiment and use whichever rhythms feel right for you for the purpose of removing negative energy. The other thing you could do is move around in an anti-clockwise direction for the removal. So anti-clockwise will remove something and going clockwise will bring in something so you could after you've removed negative energy you could even go back around the house in a clockwise direction but with more of a positive rhythm uh, to bring positive energy in but this is about purification so first i'm going to connect with my drum start set, start gently I'm visualising the removal of negative energy as I'm beating and this natural rhythm
of them I would use to remove negative energy. And I would just go around each room in an anti-clockwise direction. And I would even open a window just so that the negative energy has got somewhere to go. You could also do the same with wind chimes. You could go around each room in an anti-clockwise direction with a window open to force the negative energy out by sound waves. Intention is very important, as mentioned. Uh, it's probably the most key ingredient, as always. So have the intention in mind as you go along. And that is how you remove negative energy with a shamanic drum, or with wind chimes, or with sound in general. Now I'm going to show you a home purification spell. Before you do any spell work, you need to take some deep cleansing breaths and ground yourself and think of an intention. Focus on that. Gather the ingredients that you need and cleanse them all. I choose to use sound because I have a pet bird and smoke is harmful for him. So I always work with sound for cleansing, generally. I just go in an anti-clockwise direction with the wind chimes to remove those negative energies from any of these items that may be lingering. So I'm choosing to work with the colour white and salt and some herbs and flowers, an object that represents the home. I've even got a compass there because I face the home in the direction that my home is facing in real life. You may want to write an intention, it's completely up to you. Again, any of this is up to you. However you want to do your spell work is up to you. You have to do what feels right for you. Generally speaking, the colour white is very good for purification. Um, so I'm basically putting anything that I feel is purifying in the object that relates to my home. And I'm also going to just dress the candle with it again you don't have to do this you don't even have to use an object that represents the home you could just do a simple candle spell um, and just have the intention in mind but i just like the idea of having something that represents the home so once i've done all this i'm going to light the candle with intention again of purification i'm going to allow the light to send out a message to the universe to basically say this is what I'm working on um, and I also like to see the light of the candle shower over the object that represents a home just because it really does help with visualisation purposes. So I'm just going to let the candle burn and I'm just going to keep it in mind, always be with the candle and it's burning, never leave it unattended. If you have to leave the room you can snuff it out and come back to it later. Once the spell is complete, the disposal of ingredients is just as important as the spell itself. So it would almost seem wrong to throw away any flowers and herbs and straight into the bin. It's a very good idea to put them into the garden because then it's still a purification working on the grounds of your home. So putting them in the garden is a really good option. Never dispose of salt in the garden. If you can't take salt back to the ocean, you could put it in the bin. Thank you for watching my video, everybody. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. And hopefully see you soon. Bye.